Hello, you're watching Sheena and Evan Life. In this video, we get Fergus ready for a respray. We take the windows, the bumpers, and the mirrors off, and we even change the back door. So keep watching the video to see how we get on. Before Fergus goes for its respray, we wanted to take off all the exterior parts, like the bumpers, the grills, the lights, everything like that. So first of all, I started off with the front bumper, and like all Volkswagens, it's pretty simple. Just a couple of bolts, and it pops right off. This one was missing the bolt on the right, so I had to find the one on the left. But after that, it came off pretty smoothly. Next was taking off the back bumper. Again, it was the same as the front bumper. Moving on to the front where the grills are, the front grill was held on by a couple of cable ties. Then moving up to where the lights are situated, there's four screws. Just give them a half turn and then the whole grill pops right off. Also, we took off all the door seals. It just leaves it easier for when the guys go to spray it. Then we moved on when we popped out the windows. We cleaned up around the edge where the seal was and got that all ready. Ooh. So up here on the roof it has a lot of growth of like some moss kind of stuff and the paint is all flaking so I've got my paint scraper and I'm going to try to take as much of this off as possible. Hey Annie what are you doing? So we've taken most of the stuff off the van and we've taken the window and this cover off and I, I just have my main helper Riley, he's just sanding the back panel. So the van's getting ready for spraying, it's going to go in now in uh, maybe two weeks. So Riley's just here and he's just getting the van ready for paint. Good job Riley. So I've just taken off the hubcaps because they are painted white and um, we want to replace them with uh, the original ones that have a chrome look so I just took the four of them out uh, and we'll be getting new ones. By the way, <laughs> that wasn't the proper way of taking these hubcaps off. I just got a hammer but you're meant to have like some sort of a hook. See they have two holes here and you're meant to use this uh, for taking it off but a hammer did the job. <laughs> So in the previous clips you saw us change out the back tailgate of the van so what happened was we started sanding the old tailgate to get ready for paint and then we noticed that all along here was rusted out with a uh, filled with isopon and was welded so we wanted to get a new tailgate so we put a post up on facebook looking for a spare tailgate and ross kelly hit us up with this super door so huge shout out to ross and i leave his channel down below which is named uh, Enfloat. so go check him out and leave him some support but the door fits perfect and it's a real solid door so I'm just going to cut this bit out here with the angle grinder and then once that's cut out that this here will slide straight in and then we'll screw it into place and it actually comes with a foam seal around it so when it is screwed in it'll be watertight. We've got the fine location for our socket so we've kind of lined it up with the fuel cap so first of all I'm just going to drill a hole out with this drill bit and then I'm going to use the jigsaw and cut around the shape and then the plug socket will slide right in.
Mmm, poco si. So if you want a chance of winning an iconic piece of Fergus, just drop a comment down below and... <laughs> <laughs> you should actually put that in the video. Am I? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't much. No. So we finished up the installation of this mains hookup point. So it lines up with the petrol cap. So when you pull up in the side, open this, connect up into the mains, and then we'll have mains power inside the van to run our fridge and other stuff. So like in all Volkswagens, there is rust everywhere so when we took out these windows uh, this window these windows out we noticed that underneath the seals there was rust so what we're doing here is we're actually building it up like we're filling up the holes where the rust was with this fiberglass uh, icing pond so it's, it's going to make it hard as ever so that's going to be all done and then we're going to primer the whole lot of it all the bare metal take care of the rust before it goes to respray and then we put the windows back in once it's respread and it'll look good as new so this is a little bit funny uh, when I was sanding the door I came across this few blemishes of rust and you see there's like a, a small pinhole right there but I'll leave that up to the body shop they can do what they have to do to repair that change this panel in the van it's starting to take shape. So there you have it. That's the end of this week's video. Thanks very much for watching. So Fergus is almost well, 90% ready for uh, the respray. We just have a couple of more panels that need to be welded in. And the guys over at the panel shop is going to be doing that there. So can't wait to get Fergus resprayed. But we're still uh, undecided what colour we should go for. Should we go for one full colour? Uh, or a two-tone colour like any ones. <laughs> but I prefer the solid color and he prefers the two-tone but I think that suits the later bus the earlier buses like the T2 and the T1s I don't like it on the T25s but so comment down below which color you think we should go for a two-tone or a full solid color so uh, that's it thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video thanks bye don't forget to like subscribe and share <laughs> 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 <laughs>